Hey everyone, in this video I want to kind of quickly go over how to save and load binary data in ML.NET. I'm in Visual Studio 2017 here with the console project with .NET Core. And I have a couple of things already, got my data already in. I'm using the housing data set that we've used quite a few times before. And this is becoming kind of my go-to data set lately. And I have the input data class here already in here. And while I install ML.NET, let me give kind of a quick reasons for why you would want to use binary data to save and load instead of just usual text files that we've been doing before. So two main reasons that you would want to use binary data is one is for performance and and that's due to you saving the file as an actual binary format and loading from binary format instead of the plain text or plain CSV files that we had before. And the other one is, which kind of goes to the performance reason, is that when you save the file as binary, the file size is actually going to be quite a bit reduced. So I'm using version 1.3.1 .1 right now. So like usual, we create our context. And then I'm going to load in the data from text file. I'm going to use that housing data. It has a header and the separated character is a comma. All right, to save the binary data is we use the context.data property. And on there is a save as binary. And you notice the first parameter here is the, the data, the add data view. The second parameter is a stream. So what we have to do is that we have to do a using statement and we do stream and we'll create a new file stream. That's on the system.io namespace. And we'll give it a name. I'll use housing binary and I'll save it as an IDV format. And I tell the file mode to just create. I need to set new. Okay. Now move this in here and now just pass in the stream as a second parameter. And that's all we need to do to save as binary. So I'm going to quick go ahead and load this, but first let me go to where it'll be saved to. And I'll load this, I'll run this real quick. All right, so here it is. There's our original data set. You notice it's about 1.4 megabytes. And here's the binary data that we saved from it. And it's only 366 kilobytes. So that's a pretty good size difference there between those two. So that's saving. And I will, I'll comment this out for now. And so to load, we do context.data that load from binary and we just pass in the name of the binary file. And we can make sure we have the right data by doing a preview on the odd data view that it loads in. And we'll do a, a breakpoint on it and debug on it. Okay, so it loaded okay and if we if we step over here, look at the preview, and I'll look at the look at a row here, and see it loaded our data just fine from the binary data. So that's all I wanted to show, just kind of a quick video on loading and saving binary data and a couple of the reasons you would want to use binary data to do that. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.